Hello people and welcome to Shifting Gears and it is a big day in the Indian two-wheeler industry because the Pulsar brand is getting reborn. This is not a rebranding exercise because Bajaj has launched two brand new Pulsar motorcycles. In this video, I'm going to show you the new Pulsar N250 and the Pulsar F250. Check out this video. Let us know what is your opinion about this new fresh Pulsar available now in the Indian market. But before we get into all the finer details about the brand new Pulsar, here is the legacy of the Bajaj Pulsar brand in the Indian market because this, after all, was the most affordable performance motorcycle for the masses. So back to the present day, these are two brand new Pulsar motorcycles. These two bikes are globally exported globally, but this is the new range of new age Pulsars and you can expect a lot from the Pulsar brand in the years to come. But in this video, let's talk about what features are you going to get from this Pulsar N250 and F250. The Pulsar F250 has been priced at Rs. 1,40,000 and the N250 is asking for Rs. 1,38,000 X showroom. Point to note, the Pulsar N250 as the name suggests is a naked street bike or jo F250 motorcycle aap dekh rahe ho, you can call it the successor to the Pulsar 220F and this is going to be more of a sports tourer thanks to that semi fairing design and now let's listen to the exhaust note both these motorcycles are going to share the engine so you are getting a 249.07 cc single cylinder four stroke sohc two valve oil cooled fuel injected motor which pumps 24.5 ps of power and 21.5 newton meters of torque is engine ke saath aapko ek 5 speed ka gearbox mil jayega and you get a slip and assist clutch the curb weight of the N250 model is 162 kg and the F250 weighs 2 kg more at 164 kg the fuel tank capacity is 14 liters and you are getting a ground clearance of 165 mm the wheelbase of both the bikes is 1351 mm. Seat height is 795 mm. The front disc measures 300 mm. The rear disc is a 230 mm unit. You get single channel ABS with both the bikes. You are getting 17 inch rims at the front and at the back. You are of course getting tubeless tires. Aage aapko ek 37 mm telescopic suspension mil raha hai. And at the back you have a monoshock. N250 gets an exposed LED projector headlamp with LED DRLs and here you have a body colored bikini fairing with some gloss black panels. The fuel tank is nice and chiseled. You get a lot of prominent tank shrouds. You get the Pulsar branding on the fuel tank and you can notice the contrasting body decals on this fuel tank. The fuel tank extension as you can notice is trying to hide the oil cooler of this all new engine front mudguard pe bhi aapko body color nazar aayega and you can notice the abs branding on the front mudguard this bike is also going to get stock crash protectors the exhaust is a single piece unit with dual exhaust ports the alloy wheels are multi spoke type and you have a gray finish for the alloy wheels engine pe aap dekh sakte ho aapko ye bronze finish mil rahi hai and then this motorcycle gets a split seat setup with a split grab rail. 
आपको एलईडी टेल लैम्प्स मिल रहे हैं यू गेट एलईडी टर्न इंडिकेटर्स एज वेल सो यू गेट फुल एलईडी लाइटिंग विद दिस न्यू पल्सर मोटरसाइकिल यू गेट अ टायर हगर एंड देन यू कैन नोटिस दैट द पिलियन फुट रेस्ट डजेंट गेट अ रबर माउंट बट द राइडर फुट पैक डज गेट इट यू कैन नोटिस द एन टू फिफ्टी ब्रांडिंग ऑन द पैनल बिलो द पिलियन सीट दिस मॉडल गेट्स अ सिंगल पीस हैंडल बार एंड एज यू कैन नोटिस द स्विच गियर इज इल्यूमिनेटेड टिपिकल ऑफ पल्सर मोटरसाइकिल्स The switch gear quality looks decent and nothing to really complain about. The instrument cluster is a digital and analog unit looks quite good. आप देख लीजिए इस बाइक के साथ आपको एक USB charging point भी मिल रहा है which has been positioned on the fuel tank and here is a look at the seat of this motorcycle. Looks good for touring in my opinion but we will be riding it soon. So stick around and subscribe to the Shifting Gears channel if you want to know more. about how these bikes are going to perform because that is coming soon so this is the naked street bike the pulsar n250 but now let's talk about the pulsar f250 this is the semi fed motorcycle and this can possibly replace the ever so popular pulsar 220f A lot of people might actually think that this bike looks very similar to the Pulsar AS series from the past, but this is an all new design. And on the F250 model, the bifunctional LED projector headlamp is not exposed. You have a lens cover on it. You get a smoked front windscreen. LED DRLs bhi alag dikhte hain is model pe. Everything else is the same. You get the same alloy wheels in a grey finish. you get an engine underbelly cowl you get crash bars on this model as well primarily jo 2 kg wazan badh raha hai is bike ka that is because of the new semi fairing on this particular model because of the extra body panels you get a reflector for lateral visibility you can notice that you are not getting upside down front forks with this bike and here is a close up look at the oil cooler of this all new engine This is the biggest engine on a Pulsar ever and remember unlike the NS series is bike ke sath aapko perimeter frame nahi mil rahi hai the rear mono shock by the way is adjustable for preload dono hi bikes ke sath aapko same dikhne wala exhaust end can mil raha hai you can notice the F250 branding under the pillion seat you get a split grab rail in a silver finish You have the Pulsar branding on the seat as well and the seat looks quite accommodating but we will talk more about that in our ride review video. For the price for the segment everything looks well put together. No big complaints. Is F250 model ke sath bhi aapko ek tire hugger mil jata hai. You get the same LED tail lamp. You get MRF tires with this motorcycle and you can notice that they are not of the knobby pattern type. So this is a clear indicator that this is a road biased motorcycle. This is not an off-road friendly adventure motorcycle. And another big change on this F250 model is that you get clip-on handlebars. Lekin dono hi bikes pe aapko same rider triangle milne wala hai. So that is a point to note. So you are going to feel the same when you are riding both of these bikes. You can also keep your phone charged on the go but there is no smartphone connectivity with this speedometer cluster. You get a blue backlit for the digital display of the speedometer cluster and you have an analog tachometer on this bike and you have the wing mirrors mounted on the semi fairing. So what do you think do you like this all new Bajaj Pulsar do you think it makes sense are you going to spend your hard earned money and bring this home over the competition which also has something similar to offer but it doesn't have that pulsar brand name see you soon subscribe to the shifting gears channel and if you have any other queries do ask me i will try my best to help you out